In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to seamlessly automate your workflow by integrating Google Forms with Zapier. This process will enable you to automatically send an email response every time a form is submitted. Let's dive right in. To start things off, you'll need to create your Google Form. Head over to Google Forms and begin by selecting the option to create a new form. This is where you'll input all the questions you need. You can use a variety of question types here, including multiple choice, short answer, or even paragraph responses, depending on the nature of the information you're collecting. Don't forget to tailor the form's general settings to your needs. For instance, you might want to decide whether to collect email addresses from respondents or customize other aspects of the form's appearance and functionality. To ensure all form responses are stored neatly, link your form to a Google Sheet. This step is crucial as it allows for easy access and management of the data your form gathers. Now, once your form is all set up and ready to collect responses, it's time to connect it with Zapier. Head over to the Zapier website and create a new Zap. Zapier is an incredibly useful tool that allows you to automate tasks across different apps. For your Trigger app, you're going to select Google Forms. Specifically, choose the new form response as your trigger event. This tells Zapier to take action whenever a new response is submitted through your form. You'll need to connect your Google account at this point and select the specific form you're working with. To ensure everything is functioning as expected, test this trigger to make sure Zapier can successfully pull data from your form. With the trigger set, it's time to choose your Action app. This is essentially where you decide what happens once a form is submitted. You have a wide range of options here, from sending the data to apps like Slack or Google Sheets. But for this tutorial, we'll focus on how to send an email to the respondent of the form. Configure your chosen action, mapping the relevant data from Google Forms to the fields within your Action app. Remember, customization is key here, so make sure the email content is relevant and informative for your audience. Again, perform a test to see if the action executes as expected, ensuring the email lands neatly in the respondent's inbox. Finally, review and enable your Zap in Zapier. This final step is crucial to ensure that your automation is active and ready to go. Conduct one last test by submitting a new form response to verify that everything operates smoothly. If all goes well, your emails should be sent automatically to respondents each time they use your Google Form. And there you have it, a streamlined, automated workflow that saves you time and effort while enhancing the user experience.